Sumo. To most of us, this is just a sport where two massive men fight to throw each other out of a ring. But to many, it is much more than this. To many, it has a deep religious connection. To see this side of Sumo, and to learn more about its history and culture, I decided to travel to the city with a centuries-long history of sumo wrestling. This is the oldest city in Japan, some of the oldest shrines in Japan, the city that still hosts one of the largest tournaments in sumo, the city with an amazing ramen culture, and a fairly deep anime nerd culture. This is Fukuoka. Good morning. Today, we are in Fukuoka. Just got here last night. Had a terrible sleep. Got this little tyrant strapped to my back that didn't let me rest. But it's okay. You got some coffee here in a second for white glass. Make it happen. But I'm gonna check out Fukuoka today. Really amazing city. We're in the Hakata. Hakata. We're in the Hakata. I can't talk. <laughs> We're in Hakata. Really awesome region. Really good food. I'm gonna show some of that here in a minute. But yeah, check it out. After second breakfast, we made our way to the first round on our list, Sumiyoshi Jinja. Being documented as early as the year 737, Sumiyoshi Jinja is one of Japan's oldest Shinto shrines. Located in the Hakata region of Fukuoka, this amazing shrine is home to some of the most beautiful and unique architectural style and art. It is also one of the only places in Japan where top sumo wrestlers gather to host their pre-tournament ceremonies each year. Located to the right of the main building is this imposing statue of an ancient sumo wrestler. Built by local artists, this amazing statue is a monument to the strength of ancient sumo wrestlers, even bearing the kanji for strength on its palms. It is said if you touch the statue's hands, you can absorb its strength. Over 2,000 years ago, before sumo was recognized as a sport, it was practiced in Shinto shrines as an offering to the gods for good harvest and luck. Down a path to the right of the main building, we found this covered sumo ring that is actually still in use today. If you are lucky, you can catch the local matches here around October each year. From there, we wandered the city streets of Akata, checking out the local shops and restaurants, like this one offering fresh catch of the day. We couldn't leave empty handed, so we stopped by for some mochi a small vendor. Which one do you want? Uh, it's so good. Show me, show me. It's good ice cream. Mochi's the way to go always. Mm -hmm. It's all good. And then it was time to see the spot I was most excited for. Kushida Shrine. Built around the year 757, Shida Jinja is another one of Japan's oldest shrines. This 1200 year old shrine has been home to countless cultural events to include the dedication of several Chikata Ishi. We are amazed by the architecture, sculptures, and stonework around the shrine. The daily care that is put in to maintain the shrine is absolutely flawless. As we make our way around to the side of the main building, we see what we are looking for. Chikara Ishii. For more than 200 years, Kushida Shrine has reserved the honor of dedicating these massive stones to the top sumo wrestlers, the Yokozuna. As you look across this impressive collection of stones, you will see the names of the most respected sumo wrestlers in history engraved on them.
So here at Kushida Shrine, over the way they keep all their chikata ishi right here. It's got several, I'm not sure, I mean, there's a bunch of them here. They're all dedicated by your uh, Yokozuna, like really, really top level sumo wrestlers. They range from like 380 pounds all the way down to about 175. So they all come in here in the dedicated zones. And uh, usually it's a huge honor when they come down here to do it. But it's, the oldest one in here is about 200 years old. And the most recent one I think is from the past like 10 years. But really awesome stuff. For official lift, you have to lift it all the way to your chest. A lot of people like come here and see these because obviously it's an amazing feat. They even have on the ground over here. It's a test stone. People come out here and they actually test themselves. You're allowed to lift that one. It's like 220 pounds. You lift that one and get to your chest. Then you can see strong enough to lift some of these. You know? right, really cool stuff. Really, really awesome to see. Uh, they used to hold actual sumo turns here way back in the day. But not anymore. They sold obviously here in Fukuoka, but not in this temple anymore. But really awesome to see. Really cool to actually like see this in person. The test stone is a very smooth and unbalanced stone that most challengers fail to lift. My wife, who is a strong deadlifter, gave it a shot, but she also didn't have any luck. Definitely not a small guy by any means, like 20, 20 pounds, like takes a bit of a bear to lift this one. So come try it out for sure if you can. We close our day out with Hakata style ramen at Ramen Tyson. If you only have time to eat one meal in Fukuoka, make it a bowl of Hakata style ramen. It will not disappoint. After dinner, we made the trip to check out the Cyberpunk Shrine. It's not sumo related, but it's still an awesome stop to make if you love Cyberpunk and shrines. I personally love all things Cyberpunk, so I had to make a stop. I really enjoyed making this trip and sharing a piece of sumo history and culture with you. If you enjoyed watching this content, please share this video and follow my page for more.